I really want to welcome now at this particular point our councillors, our officials, the FSA, and a very special welcome to Pauline Hernit and to the youth involved with this project. This project really started last year when we put murals up on the on the flats in Hart Bay, on the CRU block there, and then from that Pauline who's been driving it then also has to had murals made for the Mannenberg infill, which will go up once those houses are built. Well, um, I started this project because of the fact that we've got unemployed youth from Mannenberg and in fact all over who have got no skills and yeah, it was a perfect opportunity to give them mosaic art skills and then also include Deaf South Africa. In fact, Jackie Charles, who, who's the trainer, she said you only need eyes and hands. Every morning we started coming happy, can't wait for work because it's something that no one of us knew about that we could do with our hands and it's something exciting and we look forward to build the city up with different kinds of mosaic. Wow, so yes, Devsa got involved in this project when the city of Cape Town approached us where they asked us to get deaf people involved and that gave me a lot of boof goosebumps and I immediately said yes because the deaf people in South Africa are suffering a lot, they need jobs and there's a lot of barriers involved with employment for them so that's why and how we got involved in the city of Cape Town. So from a dark area we have now transformed it into a happy vibrant entrance into the civic and at the same time we're showcasing what these kids have learned to the general public. I think that's very important. We only saw it once, twice, wherever we go, but we had no idea where to start, what to do, and until Jackie came and trained us, and so afterwards we go on, go on and enjoy. What this does is it adds very much to the rich tapestry of the city. And when it comes to public art and the involvement of communities in art, one can very much argue that aesthetics is a very important part of the human experience. And certainly for these kids who face potential disabilities with being deaf, it has taught them a wonderful skill. It's enriched them. It's taught them the value of their contribution. It's a big yes. It's a very creative idea. A lot of deaf people are very creative and bright. So yes, we can definitely have them set up their own businesses and maybe one day they can become one of the top mosaic authors in South Africa and I believe that can happen in the future.